Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the Ranger, 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 Ranger show. By the way, thank you for the wake up call. I, I literally get a wake up drive by every morning, like about eight o'clock. Let me say this. I am not normally a morning. I, I'm not normally. I am not a morning person. I get up in the morning, but I'm not a morning por person. I've never really been. I've never really considered myself a morning person. But uh, it, but that was so reminiscent of my husband on so many ways. That's why I know, you know, husband goes, <laughs> husband goes, okay, no, but I'm good. I'm not like checking for anybody or, 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 or anything like that. But my husband used to do that. I don't know how, honestly, I don't know how you guys do what you do or how your scheduling is because you're always working and then you're not working. And if you're a chef, I don't know, but he would just like, he would fix the bread for the MP. He'd get all the food and, sh and do what he had to do, do the prep and blah, 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 whatever he had to do. And then whatever that break was that he got, he would come straight to me, <laughs> straight to my house, knocking on my door. And this is why when we were dating, okay? So, um, and I'm like, you know, not a morning person. Unless I got a job to do in the morning. Most of my jobs did not start in the morning because I'm not a morning person, which is ironic because I made it to school every day and I just, you know, I was, I was on time for school all the way. It's the things that motivate you, okay? Anyway, though, I'm just not a morning person. So he would come over to my house every morning after he finished a prep before we had to go back and do whatever or after PT. And I'm just like, because again, this is when we're dating, okay? And it was at that point at after a certain time i realized and i'm like you know i think this is a man i want in my life i just go ahead i just went on ahead and gave him the key to the house because oh something's going on today it's wednesday <laughs> a lot of things are going on today literally i just got up i've been up off and on for like the last two hours because the wake up good morning baby Good morning. So reminiscent of my husband. It's Libra season. It's Libra season, and I am having so many moments. Um, it's purging. I'm purging the salt. I'm purging the salt. I'm purging all the salt out. Tears are good. Tears are good when you when you when you know how to utilize them. Uh, tears are good when you know how to utilize them properly. There are some people who cry, like people who cry for a t <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm never one of those. That, when I cry, it's always a reason. I never cry for attention. That's, that's not me. That's the one thing I don't do. Those of you who've seen me, you, you know, I, ne I didn't cry at my dad's funeral, which was, you know, you know how I'm like, like this with my daddy, you know, and, and I mean, even when I went to school, I remember, like I said, he died on a Sunday. And wow, 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 he died on a Sunday or Saturday. He was, he was, he was helicoptered to, oh, flashing mat. Okay. Cleansing therapy. It's the val it's the it's the it's the Ranger Manger wake up show. This might be therapy for some of you. It's therapy for me. Let's get through it. He was helicoptered to Duke on a Saturday. And one of the things that I regretted was that I did not go to hug him before he got on the helicopter. After I was there when you know, I was there at the bed when they were getting ready to ship him off and mommy thought like you know like he was already like um unconscious but he had but he he wasn't i mean we were my dad and i had already said our i knew my dad was sick and i knew my dad my dad had told me the last time that he you know he said the last time i go into the hospital it's going to be the last time i go into the hospital and he told me that months before he died so i knew Ooh, this is therapy for somebody. I'm good though. This is not you. You know, this is not a fundraiser. Let's have fundraiser for Val's therapy. I'm good. You know, I'm. I take care of my own. 
<laughs> Top Gun chick. I was raised right. You know what I mean? Uh, but somebody may need this because this may be what you go through. Or maybe somebody needs to see what I go through so you will know why I'm so tough or so strong or so whatever you think I am and why, you know, I'm not the one that, you know, I'm not the one you want to heal song or Scientology me. I've been through a lot. See, honestly, in reality, if these people didn't fly over me, if I didn't get hugs from real family, I gives no fucks about the community who wants to sell me up or sell me down the river for some tea. Because honestly, if I didn't have, have real God and goddess in me, I seriously would kill everybody. I mean, I really would do it. I really would. I'd make a good bad cop. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm Batman for real. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think you do because it's not just a movie for me. Who's Batman? Is a you? No, it's me. So anyway, uh, so anyway, my dad had 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 let me know when I that that night that I saw my dad that night when I'm sleeping and I heard a thump. And I and I and I go into the kitchen. I see my dad on the floor. That was the first time I ever saw this. I saw this powerhouse. This was like this was God to me. You know, this was God to me. And I'd never seen him fall like that. So that was like disturbing for me. So I actually cried for a whole year before my dad died. In reality, I did not sleep for a whole year. That's why I'm a light sleeper now. I would not sleep. I barely slept the year before my dad died because I wanted to, if he fell, I was going to get him. If he fell, I was going to like, want to make sure he, you know, maybe mom would be at work, you know, during the night shift at Womack and so she wouldn't be here. So I wanted to be clearly conscious. And by this time, my dad has sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis. My uh, husband has sarcoidosis too. So, um, y'all need to read up about what sarcoidosis. Bernie Mac has sarcoidosis too. Ironically, my husband and Bernie Mac, who look just alike in many ways, has sarcoidosis. So that's why when Bernie Mac died, that was just like, ugh. Husband died in part two. Uh, but yeah, but getting back to my dad. So he, and he would, all the stuff that he would do, I mean, between the insurance selling and the help in the community and all of this, and this was when, you know, you had these big old oxygen tanks. I mean, these big old tanks, these big old tanks, like you see these people carrying, is you've had a lot of technology since then. So sometimes you don't have the tanks or sometimes you have the little tanks, but back then daddy had these big old oxygen tanks, but he wasn't going to stop doing what he needed to do. Daddy was the type of person that he worked till he dropped. He worked till he dropped, not because I don't necessarily think he had to, or maybe he did have to, because, you know, people got bills to pay, but also because he wanted to, but that was just in his DNA to work, to serve, to, to do the best for his family and more so the best for himself. My daddy was just going to like, you know, my daddy was going to sit and cry about his problems. He was going to get up and do something, which is the, which is uh shout out to the 82nd Airborne, because that was so... If you look at their um, Wednesday wisdom, if you look at their Wednesday wisdom, you got to get up and do something. You got to get up and do something. So, you know, I, I, this is all going to, I'm circling around. This is therapy. This is therapy for everybody today. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, so, but the fact that, and it's that, it's that when I look at the same community that I tried to help, that literally sacrificed me, the same people that you try to put on, but then they steal from you. That is like just the most God awful, and yet they holler Jesus in your face. You feed their kids, and they literally want to come and rob you. Not to say that they could, because my, my, I've already cussed out my community around here. I mean, so they either love me or they hate me. I give no fucks. I mean, those who love me, thank you. But for those who don't, you know, I give no fucks. I have cursed everybody out. Remember, I cursed out the little back. I cursed out the neighborhood and then went to the Odell's like, listen, I'm letting you know before. Any, see, I, that's why I said I tell on myself. You know, I don't I don't need you. You can't shame me. You can't put me on the dark web. You can't. Well, we going to blackmail you. Bitch, how? How, bitch? How you going to blackmail me? I tell on myself. You know, I ain't snitch. On, I don't snitch on anybody. I snitch on me because, again, I don't leave breadcrumbs. I leave the whole loaf. Somebody popped in and popped out. Why? Why? 
Are you getting the information you need? Are you afraid of me? Why are you afraid of me? There's absolutely no reason to be afraid of me unless you're trying to do something evil and then you have bad intentions toward me. If you have bad intentions toward me, then you should be afraid of me. You should be very afraid. <laughs> but not of me. You should be very afraid of those who guard me. I'm just trying to say, I don't come to, I don't come here to play or placate people. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to just slay everybody. But if you come to slay me, bitch, I'll slay you first. Getting back to daddy. Okay. But that's what I said. Don't two things. I think I put that down earlier in a post, but I forget some people can't read. So this, this two things you don't do about me. Or two things you don't do about Pisces. You don't take you you, you don't steal Pisces food because we're serious about our food. We're serious about our food, and you do not mess with a wounded lioness. Now you got a lot of lions out there that say we're lions, we're lions, we're lions. But I've seen some of the weakest ass motherfuckers who call themselves lions. You need to fall back. Didn't I help you? Oh yeah, you were really dumb, sus cats. No, sit down and you want to talk that crap about what you gonna do, what you gonna do. But when things come around, all I hear you going is crying like you like you, Cindy Lou Who. Wow, and then you try to paint me out like I'm the Grinch for all the good stuff that I do. I'm the Grinch. I'm the evil one. I'm the bad person. I'm the bad guy. That's why I got to give a shout out to AGT last night. You know why? Because you showed me what I was used to. The stuff that I grew up to. You showed me you showed me real talent that we don't really see anymore. And I don't even watch TV like that more or less AGT. But you showed me real singers and real, I mean, it reminded me of the stuff when I was in Nisha and Soshu Buddhist. Maybe more, when I was in class, when I was in school, when we used to like, when we used to do the chants and cheers and stuff like that. And people, man, God, how were y'all raised? What are you, anyway. Y'all were raised so wrong. Y'all, some of y'all were raised so wrong. And these are the people, this is the time this country is on. We're being led by people who were raised so wrong. Do you think these wrongs are going to make it right? How, Sway? How? How does that work, Sway? How can a whole bunch of wrongs make shit right? No, I didn't have to curse mommy, but you know, you know, I'm, I'm my daddy today. I'm daddy's kid. And I and I and I am my hubby's wife. So uh anyway, we get back to daddy. So he did I saw him do so much. So much. So much. And on his deathbed. I saw, I heard people who couldn't get to church. Your own son or own cousin thought you were such a miserable human being. Your own son or cousin didn't want to deal with you. I'm pretty sure she's been there by now, no doubt. But I'm talking to the, some of the relatives too, who are some of my kin too, who your own, you, you know, my dad, my, how, why wasn't my dad had to go all the way out to the country to check on his grandmother when all you motherfuckers out there on the land doing nothing, getting, Sitting there getting fat and sassy. That's why grandmama couldn't stand you. Because she gave all this to you. And what did you do with it? The same thing you did with it now. Nothing. The same thing you did with your life. Nothing. The same thing you always do. Fronting. Jealous ass people who holler Jesus, 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 Jesus. You know what? You're going to see Jesus. But Jesus ain't what you think it's going to be. Jesus ain't who you think it is or who she is. Jesus, Y'all, y'all call it Jesus, but you don't know Jesus. And that reminds you that there are no J's, like there's no J today. What's J doing, okay? Stunting and fronting, by the way. What? Daddy's kid. Who? Wednesday. Black Wednesday. I'm not Jenna Ortega, okay? Shout out to the Houstons, though. The ones who did it first. Uh, Angelica Houston. John Houston. What is my relationship with you? Because I, I have followed, we have been, we, there's something going on, uh, which there, uh, just in that family. Because again, reminding you that my mother, <laughs> during what, 2012, 2013, my ascendant mother, 20, that's how I ended up seeing the movie Momo, written by John Houston. You know, as much as Hollywood is, Hollywood is racist against anybody who wants to stand up for themselves. Hollywood didn't like John Houston. And John Houston was massively talented, massively. The whole, that is legacy in itself. You better read up about the Houstons before Jenna Ortega and the new Hollywood, you know, Adams family and shit like that. Angelica Houston, you know, I mean, well, you never mind. Never mind. I mean, but going back behind, well, you know what? I'm, I went somewhere with that. But I'm just saying my mother was the one that had me. You guys haven't watched the movie Momo yet. The John Houston did I think it was what was it 1964, 19 the Belgian film that with the little brown girl, 
that fell from the sky that nobody didn't know what she was or who she was. They just thought she was just a little homeless chick. And it talks about the, uh, and it talks about the, uh, the, it's a, it's an astrology. If you're in astrology, if you're into astrology, if you're into spirituality, if you really want to know what time it is, it's even biblical. If you into it, the bald headed people, <laughs> the bald headed hoes, the bald headed people who try to steal your soul and, and smoke the dead flowers because the dead flowers represented the hours of life that they were taking away. And they called it the they called it the savings and loans, okay? <laughs> I'm teaching, but you don't hear what I say. That's okay. Go ahead and listen to uh your little table talks and your little TED talks and do whatever they do. But my people, I think they see what I do. We all the way. That's why there they go. I chose wisely. Look at that glow. So, yeah, but back to my dad. Yeah, I, I chose wisely. I Nothing but good DNA in me. Nothing but good legacy. Like I said, don't look at my kin or my friends or whatever. They're not me. You want to know me? Talk to me. And then I, well, that's another thing, but let's, let's finish this up about my dad. So, um, yeah, because um, let's not stay too long on this. I just, bottom line, though, uh, when my aunt and uncle came Sunday, that Sunday, because it's probably like around 10 o'clock. Right, okay, wow, the timing. It is all coming together. It's like right in front of a screen. The timing, because it was probably around 10 or 11 that I, uh, on Sunday, that my aunt and uncle had come by. And I was, I was, I was vacuuming the house. I was cleaning the house. Because I already knew. I already knew when my daddy went on that helicopter, that was going to be the last time I saw him alive. I already knew. But see, you know what? The irony is he talked me through this for about a year. And I, I knew that there was nothing I could do. Or I think he wanted to make sure that I, he wanted to make sure that his baby was okay. I don't think he had the same conversation with my mom, but my mom was a nurse. So you would think that she sees this every day. But here's the deal. When it's your own, it's different. There are a lot of people who see people who die. And there may be some gang members out there, some gang leaders you know, be you presidential gangs or you low-level gangs, that you might need to hear this too. You see a lot of people die. But trust me, it's different when it hits you. It's different when it's your child. It's different when it's your spouse. It's different when it's your mother or your father. So you best watch your mouth when you come to me. Okay, <clears throat> sorry that went off somewhere. Hashtag Lila. But no, really, in reality... All these people hollering, tough, 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 tough. But when that shit hits them in their own home, then you're going to see how tough they really are. I have seen big, bully, brutal gang members cry. If they really love their mother, see what happened when their mother died. Maybe some of them love their father. See what happens. Maybe you don't give a damn about your mother, your father. Do you have a child? Do you care about that child? See what happens when that child dies. Some of you got your children in some of these videos and it's entertainment for you. But when that happens in real life, because, you know, children are very impressionable. So when they do that, too, and they do that in real life. Their death is real. Only a narcissist can't feel that that's why I'm really not good for a narcissist my clap back is something like you have no idea about <clears throat> you don't know my stories you can talk all you want to you can put up 50 billion people on YouTube and they can be copies and versions of me. I, robot, in reality, I'm not the bot. <laughs> you might be. But when that shit hits real, it's a different story. That's why, shout out again to the 82nd Airborne. It's, it's weird. If you look at the video that I did 
uh, when Simon Cowell and I basically we said the same thing. It's like, do you realize these people do this? You have these people that were on America's Got Talent that this is what they do. This is their life. They sing. They're acrobatic. They're, this is what they do. This They study this in and out, in and out. This is all they ever do. But these folks, this is not their real job. This is creative therapy for them. This is my, you got nerves in the army too. This is the artistic ones. I didn't say autistic. I said artistic, but some might be. But this is the artistic ones that want to channel that creativity into, or that's their, that's their therapy. Because remind you, they jump out of planes. <laughs> Which, you know, they jump out of planes and helicopters, which is insane. You're looking at this stuff, Special Forces, which is so lame on TV. These reality shows are all lame and remind you that's ed that's entertainment, not edutainment. That's entertainment. I'm edutainment. I'm educating so I'm entertaining. But that's entertainment, just straight entertainment. And you got these, and you got too many impressionable kids. Well, the smart ones get it. Because the smart ones are like me. My tribe gets it because they've got mamas and mamas and grandpas and upas and real aunts and uncles who are like, no, we don't, no, 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 mm -mm. we ain't going, we ain't going to do that. Like I said, when I had to cut, when I, when I, I was placed here for a reason, for several reasons. Number one, I'm right on track. I'm right in alignment with Pope Air Force Base. So it's easier for them to watch me <laughs> and for me to watch them. So it's, a, it's already a synergy. It's a, it's a tie. It's a le it's, clearly it's a legacy tie and I appreciate it. And one would say, well, you know, like, good God, but where, where, where I'm at is where I need to be for right now. But like I said, I'm still dealing with problems with the house. But yeah, I own the house. I don't own the land. We still don't know who the landlord is. You know, I, I still think, you know, this might be some scam. But, you know, e either way, we'll see. Uh, I, I know eventually I'm going to need these pipes need fixing in this house because they're probably getting ready to go. But, you know, you live a day at a time. I'm working on a stove that's only got two eyes. You got people who have the money. And this is the funny thing. You They have the money and they don't even know what to do. They're still scamming. So what's wrong with you? You still smoking and talking it, but you say you're living large, but why are you so miserable? What is wrong with you? You just fucking suck and that's all you do and everybody's supposed to be what with the way that I did it. I'm so sick of that low pro ho shit. Where you going with it? Because we're in very crazy times. We are in war times. So you understand war? You don't. You don't. You understand TV war. You don't understand real war. You don't. You don't. I've met many a soldier. And we've all said the same thing. I wish they put some of these hard, these hard as hell, these hard gang. Put the Crips. Put the Bloods. Put the, put, put the Mexican cartel. Put them in the middle of Afghanistan. Put them in the middle of the Ukraine war. Fuck scared straight. Fuck the jails. Fuck Big Bubbas. They are Big Bubbas all in the hood anyway. They done butted out their ass anyway. The whole celebrity, the whole, all, all, all the, uh, most of these celebrities are pussy. Most of the rappers are pussy. They're all pussy and they're all sucking dick, eating dick, eating shit. And they all do that. You mad at me because I'm like being real with the shit? Why don't you be real? If you're not doing that, why are you playing the narrative? And then why you want to turn around and sacrifice me for the tea? Who we? You, you, you. I'm not young thugger, girl, but God damn it, motherfucker, bitch, I might be. Okay, mommy, pull back. Yeah, that was south really bad, didn't it? North node, north node, baby, north node. Remember your class. <sighs> But here's the thing about military brats. We will kick your ass. So anyway, so back to my dad. Because this is therapy for me. Like I said, I'm leaving. Uh, this is my, this is my album. This is a book. This is my movie. Everybody, where's the album? Where's the album? Where's the album? Nobody's paid me to do me. Nobody's going to tell my story but me. I'm not going to be on a Hollywood. This is the story of Val. The whole down the road. Like, I knew Val. The person I work with in radio. I knew Val. None of them didn't know me. Clearly. Jealousy is the first sin. Greed with no conscience is the second. We understand the need for money, but when it gets to be greed with absolutely no conscience, that you'll kill anybody for money. 
because you want what they want. You want what they got. There's something you lack. So you fire back with some bullshit. To me, that's sin. That's treason. And then comes the ignorance. Because you're ignorant about what you do. You think you're doing something that's so cool. You don't think that that shit's going to come back to you. Because the oath you took. Your brothers and sisters say, we'll always have you. No, they won't. You can't trust a snake, a bad one. Never. That blood code oath that you all take. When those guns start to come in your place and in your face, it gets different quick. I'm just a little chick in the hood. Who you fucking with? And why? Oh, we Wednesday therapy. So yeah, Daddy uh prepared me, but he didn't prepare Mom. But again, like I said, when it's your own, you know. So I'm just thinking, like, yeah. So my somewhere between early Saturday morning and early 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 Sunday morning or late Saturday night. Wait a minute. Whatever. When my dad. I, anyway, when he went to Duke and uh, he died. And um, so it's around 10 or 11 o'clock, my aunt and uncle coming over to the house. And I'm already, I'm, I already knew, I already knew, I already knew. And they were like, sit down, we want to talk to you. And I'm like, I know already. And it's like, S sit down, baby, we want to talk to you. I'm like, I know already. You know, my aunt and my godmother, my, my godmother, my aunt and aunt, my Pisces, the best storyteller in the world, because all her stories are true. And she, and she was very calm about it, but she knew. And she, I think she knew that I knew because she, they kept, cause I just kept vacuuming and they were like, sit down. We need to talk to you. And I really didn't want to stop vacuuming because I knew, like, I didn't want to go and hug my daddy before he got on the helicopter because I knew. And my mom said when he was getting, you know, when he, when they were moving him, my mom said, cause I was saying, bye, I was saying bye there. I love you, daddy. Then she, and she was like saying, you know, he, she, he doesn't hear you, baby. I'm like, yes, he does. See, they don't, but he did. Cause he let me know. I knew. That's why I know, I know my daddy. I know my daddy when I feel my daddy. Uh, the tie to this is that, like I said, around 10 ish or 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning in 1974, then 10 years later in 1984, I'm going to the house, same house that was vacuuming. And I just talked to her the night before. And we had, you know, and I, I and normally mom would be like, come on over to the house. Because I just like lived down the street from her and eat some popcorn or whatever. But she, and we had friends. And I didn't feel like being with my friends. And we had, you know, mm -hmm. and I just felt like going home. I felt like going to see my mom. I just, I just, I had, I just wanted to go there. It's like, no, no, no. Stay with, stay, stay with, stay with friends. Stay with them. Because I'm calling her up. You know, I did. She, I call. I'm calling her up. You know, like about twelve o'clock, twelve midnight. I'm calling her up. And she's up, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to come over. It's like, no, 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 no. We're talking a little bit, and she's, you know, I'm asking her. She's, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, my mom was never one to complain. My mom was never. She, my mom had esophageal cancer. That's why I say you got some of these little trippy ass bitches. You got these little trippy ass bitches. They, they break a nail and. <laughs> They're like, you know, they got all the money in the world. They got all, they got everything in the world. And then they still crying. They still bitching and whining like little whiny bitches. Bitches don't know about me. They don't know about the shit I go through. Some little sussy ass boy said, you need to think about what we go through. Bitch, you put that upon yourself. Nobody told you to suck and fuck your way to the top. And that goes to your whole goddamn crew. Now you really get some therapy. This is a therapy for me today. This is Val's therapy. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You want to see Black Wednesday? Bitch, I am not Jenna Ortega, okay? I will 
fuck all of you up creatively because that's what I do. Yeah, that's why they can't come around me no more. And that includes all the rappers who knew goddamn well I helped them too. You go ahead and help your little football people, your little basketball people. You know why I'm mad? You know why I'm mad? You know goddamn well why I'm mad because these people still want to play that cap shit. Your cap. I got to get this out my system. You got to get that. You got to get it out your system because if you don't get it out your system, your blood pressure will go up. That salt energy, that salt. You got to like. You got to alchemize that salt. That's why tears are good. That's why therapy is good. But you get a. You got to get around people who really mean you're good. You got to get around. You can't go around all types of psychologists and psychiatrists and tell them this because reminding you they're reading you from a book and if they haven't been through what you've been through, they don't know and. Truth be told, you can get these psychiatrists and these psychologists shook because they're some of the most pill popping drunkards ever. But they come in and they and they got to be clever about what they do because they're on the job, okay? It's their job to help and counsel you, but the military knows you can't go to therapy because they're reading you from a book and then they're gonna put it on your record. Well, this person is suffering today like they tried to do that to my husband. I could say a whole bunch of shit about the good and the bad of the VA. Oh, don't play with my benefits. Oh, I'm going to have a lot more to say. I'm representing my military today, okay? I'm representing my military who do go in hardcore all the way, and they're very good at what they do, and they deserve their money, and they deserve their respect, too. We're not talking about colors, but if we have to go down that color road, I just looked at something about the countries that, like, don't, that, that, that want to be racist. I don't know why, I don't know why in the world Italy would have the nerve to be racist when your, when your Pope kisses, a, kisses the toe of a black Madonna every goddamn day. You, you Italians must have forgot about who Sicilians were, okay? They look more like me than like you, so you need to fall the fuck back with that racist bullshit, okay, boo? And that includes you Moroccans and you Spaniards, too. Did you not forget who the Moors are? Oh, I think you did, bitch. Please. How do I know your history more than you? But you want to be all, you want to be what? Fall the bat, shut the fuck up, or do what you do. But when you come to me, notice you treat me like some little darky, some little nigger, some little nigger. I'm going to read you your rights, and you better catch me right, okay? Because you never know when my therapy's not working on that day, and then you're going to see the more come out of me. You want to see Hannibal in real life? Mm. Dark Phoenix, Rogue, and and Storm all at the same time. Ain't nobody on social media online going to be me. Ask the ones who really know about me. This girl has always walked in fire by herself. Boldly, proudly. I've walked in Winston-Salem by myself in the pouring rain. Can't even find my car. I know I've got angels over me. I've walked in the, I've walked the Durham streets in the middle of the hood. Durham is known for having more crime, which is weird. Durham, I mean, Durham is like, I'm in, I was raised in the Nam. What the fuck are you talking about? Durham ain't, Durham ain't, I'm not scared of Durham. <laughs> I've walked the streets of Durham alone. Ask Chip Sheridan then when I was trying to get to the thing, the Avengers thing in the concert. I'm up here getting live. I ask, where am I going? I'm calling the police that night. You're like, I don't know where I am, all right? <laughs> so I need to get to this. And then when I get there, and I mean, and it's just like, you know, it's just like everything opened up for me. Even that night, the uh, equipment didn't work, and I got on this slate. Remember, I was in my red, you know, and doing that, and I was just, you know, I'm the VLJ, because there was supposed to be some music, but the whole system kind of went down. But see, I just freestyled and did what I and and, and didn't break and, and didn't break a sound, didn't break a stride. That's me in real life. I'm a cool chick, but I ain't that bitch you want to fuck with, okay? And Lilith don't smoke or don't drink no more. Segment, no, she doesn't. So what you gonna do? Hashtag not the whore. So uh, anyway, but back to my back to my therapy. Uh, give you a little bit of intel. So before somebody else talks about me, this is my book. This is my story. So bitch, if you were, if you gonna write a book, that book, any of me in that book, I'm coming for you personally. You want to call that a threat? Bet. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. It's a foul snap day. <clears throat> but I'm 
Somebody's blocking my media. They don't like what they see. Somebody's feeling a little sensitive. Why are you feeling sensitive about me? I can't help it that your people are trash. You are supposed to learn or either fall the fuck back. What have you learned today? So, anyway... Uh, yeah, but yeah, so uh, that's why I say, I'm telling you my story. Why, why am I so, whatever you think I am, why I'm so strong or so this or so that? How can she exhibit such, whatever this is, guts? <laughs> no guts, no glory. I mean, do you see the legacy I represent? Did I, did, did you not watch? I mean, and, and this is another thing. Why are you all hating on, I mean, I have just seen hate. On, on the 82nd Airborne's page, the, I, the, 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 between the, I think you're blocking some of it out or you just letting it go and you don't care. But I mean, you know, y'all just, you all just like, people will hate on any, people are miserable as fuck. People will hate on anything. People will hate on anything. People will set you up. People will swear out they're your friends. And they'll be like, go, 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 go. And then, you know, you put them on. And then they'll be like, oh, that was some weak ass shit. Oh, that was some this and that was some that. Who's these bitches that's writing under? Who, who's it? Now, I'm taking it personal because, you know, these are my, I'm being support wife right now. Who are these bitches? <laughs> I'm calling you what you are because it's a salty ass, jealous ass, ain't got shit to do, bitch. Who are these bitches that's coming on the 82nd Airborne page when they show what they did on on on, on America's Got Talent and, and, and complaining like you do? Who the fuck are these bitches? I like this. No, I really, I really wouldn't like to see them. I, you know what I mean? Or maybe I do. I don't know. Remember, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm that type of cheerleader. I'm telling you, I was my coach's favorite cheerleader. I'm the one that's, you know, how, how does the cheerleader get the technical file? <laughs> that's me. Like, what? Y'all remember Coach Brock and Kate Fear? 71st, you remember, you remember the whole thing in the Fable Observer where 71st was going after Kate, Co Co Coach Brock and I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, wait a good goddamn, it was a big thing in the Fable Observer, it was like back and forth, back and forth, it was Val Jones against 71st and all this, and all. he was like, y'all, y'all messing with the wrong man, cause that, Coach Brock, that was, that, that was my coach, that was my, I love me some Coach Brock. Y'all are not going to get me off onto this racism shit or this dumb shit because dumb people are dumb people regardless of what color you are. If you white and you dumb, fuck you. If you black and you dumb, fuck you. If you brown, red, green, blue, purple, or whatever color you are, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you too. I've been through too much drama. I'm not going through any more drama because of you. If you a bad cop and you're trying to set me up, Fuck you. You gonna get your ass shot. I said it. Don't mess with me. My angels ain't playing about me. My daddy ain't playing about me. I pee a fool that wants to hate me simply because I'm black and you don't know who I am. You better fall the fuck back. You could get shot too. Or hung. You know what I mean? Val snapping. I gave birth to you. Your mama's talking today, bitch. Your real mama. Holy Spirit come through. Woo-wee! That's a trinity for you. Huh. Father, son. Oh, wait. Father, son, and mother. How about father, daughter, and mother? But not those people out in Calabasas. You know what I mean? Oh, they want to be religious. They want to be all, they want to be bring, bring all these people into their schools. And so what type of schools are you? And Oprah, do not mess with the Ramadami brothers or any of these children. We don't want you. To, they don't need your co-signing on nothing you do. Let these people do what they do and make their money and make their legacy on what they doing on their own. They don't need no one to co-sign them. Shout out to AGT because you put the spotlight on them. Now, let them do what they do naturally because no one needs to go to anybody's casting couch. No one needs to be co-signed by some 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 raggedy ass celebrity that's that's already falling off because your money done gone down the drain. Yeah, I'm up in your face today. Don't mess with me and don't mess with my family. They can't always speak for themselves, but I can. And it's weird because you say they're the military. They can do everything, yes, but they are under a contract.
I am not. I don't like contracts. Some contracts are good. Others, not so good. You know what I mean? Getting back to this therapy, though. Back to me. Because <laughs> I got to clear out because I started this. So, yeah. So, yeah. My mommy. And my mommy sent a child. To, she, she she sent my uh, the friends that we were with. I talked about Sergeant Derek McNair. Derek McNair was with my first husband and, 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 and Derek and, and his sister and stuff like that. And uh, I forgot the little girl's name. But she was just, like, so adorable. She was just a little bit little me. <laughs> she was a little me. And uh, that's what said the power of my mother. Okay, when my mother, uh, I'm talking to her on the phone, and I was really, I just felt something was wrong. I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. And she switched up the energy because the little girl came, came all of a sudden the little girl came in the door, and I had the door closed because I didn't feel like being with anybody. I didn't feel like being with anybody. I just wanted to be by myself, or I wanted to come, you know, go and see mommy. And the little girl like come play with me come play with me and stuff like that and i'm like and mom was like go with her go with her i'm good i'm good but she was too good though you know i mean when you know you know you know so and then you know the next day you know and then my aunt calls me the next day uh uh the same one that came through when my dad had passed away and she was like i can't reach your mom where is she? I'm like, what do you mean, where is she? And I thought, well, maybe, you know, by this time she had had, uh, ironically, she had another guy that she was dating named Bob that she was, his name was Bob too. And she was afraid, she was afraid to introduce him to me thinking that, you know, I'm daddy's kid. Cause I, cause I, up until that time I had nixed everybody. Cause they were like after her, they weren't, they weren't right for her. I knew they weren't right. It wasn't a matter of, I mean, she needed love too. I got, I gathered that, but you know, there are some people, as we all know, especially some of you Masons, you Mason brothers. There's a whole family out there. Unfortunately, I married into that family too. Who, my first husband's. Uh, relatives, the McDonald's. How are you doing, McDonald's sisters and all that? Yeah, and there's a there's a legacy. There's a legacy with the Blackwells and the McDonald's and stuff like that. Oh, get off me! Uh. Ironically, the great grandmother, no, the grandmother of the Blackwell family, like me, the dark skinned grandmother like me uh the uh gloria did not gloria didn't like me my first husband she didn't like me until me and my first husband broke up and then all of a sudden like we can make it work now you now you like me now no 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 uh by the way by the way giving you some legacy that you won't hear today why don't people tell their own stories do you know that the first sheriff and I don't know if it's the first sheriff or something. He was one of the first sheriffs or something like that in Fayetteville. Was actually black. But you thought he was white. He kept his dark family up in the attic. While the people would come through. There's a lot of history you don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of curses in that family. There's a lot of something. I don't know. I don't know. But research that. You have uh, I forgot. I, 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 what's his? What was his name? What was his? Uh, his name wasn't. What's his name? His name wasn't Black. I don't know what his name was. I don't know. All I know is, all I know is Webb's grandmother, my first husband's Webb, his grandmother. I don't know if that was her husband or her. It's, 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 it's you know, it's, it's, too, it's not my story to tell, but, uh, but, um, but, uh, there's some mental instability in, in that there's something, there's something, but just a rep point of reference though, that your first sheriff was actually black. There are a lot of people who could have passed for white. That didn't. Like I said, Charles Chestnut could have passed for white, but he didn't. My grandpa Johnny could have passed for white, but he didn't. My great great 
great one of my great grandmothers was born in was was born well, I keep saying born was buried in Jernigan and Warner. Clearly, she was white because <laughs> no, no, no darky was born, was buried in Jernigan and Warner. Okay, Oregon, okay, that was one of the grandma. I had two grandmothers that I never met. I don't know if it was, I don't know. Well, what one in Atlanta who kept saying, like, well, I kept saying, I'm black and I'm African. It's like, and, we, and, and what else? And, and she kept saying, and in, in my vision, we're up in the caves, we're up in doing the fire dancing and everything and all this and all that. And it was like, you know, and I'm like, I'm black. And that's just, I'm going through all the Hebrew Israelites and the Asar set and the nation of Islam and all this and all that. And she's like, but where are you? And I'm like, I'm black. I'm African. I'm King And I'm like, but what are you? And I'm Europe. And I'm like, but no, what are you? And I'm like, what do you want me to say, Grandma? What do you want me to say? <laughs> Oh no, you tell me. And so, and then I turned around and, and talked to my aunt and stuff like that. And they're like, and I'm describing the woman. And they're like, how could you possibly know this? Because you were like not even born when she died. I'm like, how do you know you described her to a T? I told you. She came to me in a dream and a vision and asked me who I was. So this is just, this is me. Now see, let's see how many people tell these stories on social media today. See, I'm giving you content. But they're content creators, so they're fakers. By the way, you owe me for that movie too, the creator, but we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, okay. Now the, the, the little Asian girl that looked like a boy. You don't know that's a girl, but that's a boy. That <laughs> see that's confusion already. It's the confusion. It's the confusion for, on purpose for me. Okay. So you got me a little tweet, not in your type of tweet, but you know, like, it's the guy going to, this is Hollywood. So it's a black guy going to die saving her. When are we going to, when are you going to bring back Metal Herlock Chronicles? That was something. Metal Herlock Chronicles. Metal Herlock Chronicles. You can't find that anywhere. Let's talk about the bunny, okay? Let's talk about, I know I'm going everywhere today. I haven't had coffee or water. I just woke up this way. My intelligence is off the scale. <laughs> they don't want to play chess with me. We're not playing chess. We're not playing checkers. This is a whole other game. Huh. But yeah, uh, the endomorph. <laughs> The end of morph. I'm gonna get back to the story again about the family, but it's just I'm. The, oh wow! Like wow, wow. Where's the moon? Is oh the moon's in Pisces, isn't it? <laughs> so we're in Pisces world. <laughs> Woo! Y'all in trouble. We're in Pisces world. Nobody can handle me in Pisces world. Wow. <laughs> Libra. It's a Libra season. We're in the moon. is in Pisces. Nobody can touch me in Pisces. There is no drug that can touch me. I am the natural drug. I'm the natural AI. I'm the natural drug. I mean, I haven't even had water yet or coffee. I'm not, I'm not going to drink coffee because I'm going out to therapy for my people because I want to give my people some love and some hugs because y'all were awesome you made me mommy's always said when you cry it's a memory you made me cry in a good kind of way but all of agt except for a couple of people i like i tuned out and stuff like mm, 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 mm. but last night was like almost like a, a a a dare i say a religious experience for me because it showed me the type of caliber and quality of uh talent that i'm used to that i like to see so I want to thank, at least on that night, last night, uh, TV for showing me, me, the type of stuff like, like no, no wet ass, no, no, none of that shit. No, 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 no so touchdown nails and no, no young th gonna thug, no, no, Halle, 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 what it, Chloe, like, you know, shit. Poor little chicks who are thin as, as hell. No, I'm a butterfly. I, I believe in therapy. And and mushrooms have been good for me. Bitch, shut the fuck up. If any of my money has gone to that house you're living in, it's going to all fall away. I promise you that on this day. Y'all done mess with the wrong person, okay? I told you that nothing, nothing that you took from me will ever turn out right for you nothing it will all 
go down the drain. I gave that money in good conscience and you try to play me and then turn around and try to frame me too in your game. Oh no, I'm coming for all of you creatively. <laughs> Why? Because I'm me. When is in Pisces, I could be lying and delusional, right? Delusional down. While you living up in your little house. No, I'm not jealous. I'm like, that's my money. I thought that money was supposed to be going to charity. I thought that money was supposed to be going to help helping some African kids. I thought that money was supposed to be going to a lot of stuff. So that's why I don't do charities anymore. None of that money goes to charities. Like the 9-11. None of that money's gone to the victims. Where did that money go? Biden, you want to shut down the government? Why, ho? Why don't we shut down? Why don't you got all the money? You and Gates. Why don't you and Bill Gates bail the motherfucking government out? You got enough money to do it, but you won't, will you? And did I hear this bitch say, we look, we, we want all the middle class and all the, we want you all to help us out and donate. Bitch, Oprah, are you stupid? Clearly. What? Who? Wow. I just, I, I think I look, I don't know what's, I don't know what the fuck is, I don't know what's in Chicago. I used to love Chicago, man. I mean, but then people would say, you need to come back here in the wintertime. But I know one of the best times I had with this, I know Chicago had the best pizza, though. Even the homeless people, though, had, uh, had, had, had a grind, uh, had, had a real grind going on. Like, they had an underground, like, was like, I was impressed with that. I was the one to walk to Moss Miriam by myself. By myself, because the person I wanted to wanted to go shopping, but I wanted to go and see my Smiriam by myself. I know how to walk by myself like I'm not a tourist. I'm not stupid. Military people have to go everywhere. You can't be afraid. I'm not afraid of stuff. I'm afraid of me. I'm afraid of me when I lose uh when I when I lose my mind and my emotions you want you want me to be a little not too emotional but you want me to keep my emotions cuz when I when I go totally in my aquarius energy I'm in my midheaven right now there is no aquarius that can out aquarius me so if you're on the negative side and you're trying to roll up and steal on me bitch you already done got fucked up Oh, let's see who this might be. Here comes the toys. I'm at your phones today. Where you at? Hello? He Hello? If this is Amazon customer service, how are you doing today, ma'am? Why is Amazon customer service calling me? Mrs. Who? No. I'm not talking to Blakely. No, that's not my name at all. How did you get my number? Hello? 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 Let's call the match, shall we? Moons and Pisces. <laughs> yeah, where's that? Where the number? Where the number? I already came up spam risk. 360-761-6154. If it's Amazon, don't worry about it. I do have something coming my way today, but let's see. No, go back to it. Go back to it. You know, Amazon's being called out for uh, the, the this, this, Amazon's been doing some really horrible, deceptive practices, too. That's been the news. That hasn't been missed on me. Ooh, Amazon, you can't ready to be sued. But you know what? They've been doing some gangster shit at Amazon. They really have. See, that's a good thing and a bad thing. There's some good things about Amazon, but there's some really bad things about Amazon. Why is it that? And that's the that's the that's why you have to pay attention to everything. Remind you, there's uh, why I got my camera. Where is it at? There we go. Gotcha. 
She's guarded better than Fort Knox. I love my crew, and they love me too. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Back to what we do. Not we do. This we do. Uh, yeah. Long story short, my aunt Oh, that's the trees. I'm like, I'm like watching, like, you know, me and nature. Moon and Pisces. I'm there, naturally. Uh, so my aunt, you know, tells me, uh, uh, I'm getting back to it. Retracking, coming back. So my aunt comes around, tells me that my dad is gone at Duke. I already knew. I'm vacuuming. So that's on a Sunday in 74. Sunday on 84. Uh, I'm going to my mom's house because my aunt, same aunt, like, we can't reach your mom. And I only lived, like, about a mile or two from her. And I knew halfway there, I knew what I was going to find. 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 And it was like, it was slow motion. Everything was, like, in slow motion. Everything just slowed down. Time was just like slow. And it took me forever to get there because I didn't want to, I knew what I was going to find. And when I got there, and there was a little bit of smell in the house because I had a key, I mean, obviously. And the light was on in the hallway. And she was sitting up in her nightgown with her coffee cup to the side where the coffee is spilled over. She, whatever it is, she died instantly. I guess that should be a little bit of whatever happened, happened fast. So... One would say she didn't suffer, but reminding you, my mom had esophageal cancer. She had already been to, uh, she already went to Wall to read, and I had to cuss them out because they didn't let me know what was going on with her. And I mean, I, I cussed out, well, I, I cussed these people out because they couldn't give me information on my mama. And I'm like calling them like, what's going on? And they're doing, so I don't know, like, listen, don't play about me with my family. Reminding you, I'm the same woman that went to the top. I went to the general. Uh, because somebody was trying to, you know, r roll up the wrong way on my husband. My husband's doing the right thing. That's why I said, I'm really unlike you motherfuckers. And they know who I'm talking to. You motherfuckers that won't act like you big and bad and bold and everything. You fuck off on everybody, but you won't fucking suck off on me. Listen, you fuck with my family. You fuck with me. And apparently my family is saying too, you fuck with her. You fuck with us. In us, we trust. Okay. Bitch, don't play us. It's a whole different time we're on and we run the game now. I said what I said. I told you a long time ago. I don't give a damn what type of gang or what type of time you own. The biggest, most vicious, most ruthless, most protective gang in the whole entire world is the U.S. military. How many times have you caught me lying? How many times have I been wrong? <laughs> Look at the people who've taken 50,000 shots and look at me. In reality, you think I would make you sick. In reality, you've been tricked by a, a bitch. In reality... I'll just do me reading my mom's medical journals, okay? Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be right. I guess we'll see. But at the end of the day, where is the choice? Where is our voice? We fight for freedom, but our soldiers don't have a voice or a choice? What the fuck are you talking about? But anyway, back to, uh, but anyway, so I end up, you know, so anyway, so everybody said they want to be me, okay? Let's see what happens when your mom or your dad pass away. Let's see if you can handle it the same way.
You want to master me? Let's see if we can master you. Not we. Let's see if you can master you and your emotions when that happens to you. Reminding you the shit that you wish for me is going to come back right at you. Oh, bitch. I'd hate to be you. But I love being me. You know what I mean? Whoo, this is good therapy. I'm going full circle today. Moon and Pisces, let me be delusional, okay? But what you doing out in Vegas? What you doing out in Colorado? What you doing out in Calabasas? What you doing in Miami? Me. What you doing in Germany? What you doing in France? What you doing in Italy? What you doing in Spain? What you doing in Mexico? What you doing in Canada? What you doing in Hollywood? What you doing in New York? What you doing in Jersey? What you doing around the corner? What you doing around the road? What you doing in your church? Who are you trying to hurt? What you trying to say? Who are you talking to today? Is it me? I don't think so. Okay, 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 okay. Bring out all the Kylies, the, the Chris's, or whoever it be, bitch. I will make a oh child who reminding you is therapy. Pacifist, this goes to you too. Y'all make it personal, so I'm gonna make it personal for you. Bitch, wanna roll up on me? I don't know about you. Jaden, you better back the fuck up. We have a Jaden too. I like my Jaden, but I'm gonna say one more time. If anybody in my soul tribe, if anybody gets touched or get hurt behind this jealousy and this bullshit, I am coming for you personally. Creatively, don't mess with my tribe. I said that about my goddaughter too. Don't mess with my tribe. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Don't mess with my tribe. Somebody's going to owe me an apology. Somebody passed the apology. Somebody owes me money. Somebody, I'm not going to give her a public apology. Then die, bitch, die. Hell, that's so cold. No, what they did was cold. Let them tell about that, but they won't. Because the devil lies. God set you up. Hmm, how could she be so tough? Because good seeds make good trees, not the monkey. Bitch, call me a monkey to my face, and I'll punch the shit out of you. If not Glocky, you. you know what? That's what I should be doing today. No. Okay, mommy. No. Mommy says no. Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Hashtag live in astrology. No. Because if 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 I if I recall, it's still like ladies. She, it, it, I don't know. Guns plus. Do you still do ladies shoot free on Wednesday? So you know what? I got these defenders that I can like you know give off some. So I got I, I got my weapon. I got I got these defenders that you know I like the you know I can just empty the, the clip you know of my gold dots and put the defenders in because you know I, I I practice on defenders, but the gold dots you know that's for. <laughs> One is for shooting and one is for fun. <laughs> I use the defenders for fun. <laughs> and I use the gold on for real. <laughs> humor is humor is humor humor healthy humor humor is healing. Yes, yeah, she is the real deal. <laughs> No, baby, so I don't know. Lord have mercy. Can you imagine if I had my own reality show? Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> Woo! This ain't no born ass bitch coming through. You know what I mean? Bitches thought they gonna stay with me. What the fuck you talking about? Bitches thought they gonna suck and fuck on me. I wanna get out. I just, I just need to bat her down. You and who? <laughs> bitch, get the fuck out of here. No. I just there been so many men <laughs> that had that idea. No. I peed in the fool that tries to rape me. I swear to God. I swear to God. God will probably stop you before that. Whoo, because daddy's not going to let me go to jail. <laughs> and mommy's not going to let me go to hell. <laughs> That's why I said it's Wednesday. I can.
didn't go out shooting for free. Who is to you like practice my shit? Mommy went, no, no, <laughs> no. Coffee, kid. Coffee and food. Let's let's do this today. Let's not let's not let's let's not pick let's not pick the clock up today. Let's not do that, okay? We're already kind of like the world reminding you the world is already kind of like you know, <laughs> they can't handle the energy. Be support me. Be support. Peace. Peace. Listen, this is so weird. I don't believe him. I get ready to do this for real. No, but you know, I went to bed. I literally, I went to bed singing a song because I saw a video clip. I did see something on, um, um, uh, uh, on social media, on uh, Facebook. And I mean, honestly, I love this song. I love this song. You, and I told you, I am by no means. Please, and I'm saying this. I have to say this over and over again because then people are say, oh, see, she's stuck in religion. No, I don't. There's one thing I don't do is get stuck in religion. I don't. But I, I will, I will feel the vibes. I can rock with the vibe. That's why I can rock with rock. I can rock with any type of music. I can, if it's a feel, it's a vibe. I don't get stuck in the lies, but I can feel the vibe. And so the song is, uh, and, and I mean, I want to play the song, but I don't, I don't want people to take it out of context because I don't want you to think I'm not painting the narrative. Okay. I'm not painting the narrative. Uh, it's the vibe. It's the feeling. I want you to take out first and foremost, I want you to understand truly just why you don't browbeat people with you the we, we know that already just why you don't browbeat people with the bible there were no j's okay in Aram during that time of his there were no j's so his name was not jesus <laughs> his name was not jesus. i'm still waiting for prager you to come through because the little sussy ass boy that says oh, oh, oh. now is this what we're doing we're trying to colorize they're trying to colorize cleopatra and now they're trying to colorize jesus bitch let me tell you i think that's an ai trick let me tell you one more time cleopatra was not white she wasn't she was not white. She didn't look like she did not look like Elizabeth Taylor. Ooh, sorry. I mean, be, before the Suez Suez Canal got broken up, Africa is still Africa. Well, I mean, you know, I don't get into some madness of what's called Africa, Kemet, Nubia, whatever. The peep, the, the 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 dark land. Okay, how about the land of the earth, the land where Lucy, the first woman, so according to you, now maybe 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 it is or maybe it isn't true, but according to you, the first bones ever found was a black woman named Lucy in Africa. I guarantee you, she won't white. I'm gonna tell you one more time again let's do a little geography lesson a little biology lesson and add this to your psychology too here's something in clear view you can see this in everyday farmers know what i'm talking about you can take some sand nothing look at the sand hills you see how hard it is to grow anything in sand hills nothing grows in sand sand is good for relaxing or dying <laughs> like in the desert sands earth the deep dark earth that's where the nutrients are the deep dark earth that's where the nutrients are my hair is still growing because my body, because my hair is coming out of this dark body. But you know, but the, but but you see this, you see this. This doesn't go away until I cut it off. This will keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing until I cut it off. I told you my hair doesn't take another color. So I'm I'm the God chose me to, to to give you this reality check, this reality lesson. Okay, so let's get back to like this is not an illusion. Let's go out. You can you go you can go out. Every child can do a science experiment on that. Go out and try to grow something in sand. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Plant your seeds in sand and see what will grow. Plant your seeds in sand and see what you grow. Nothing, 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 nothing. You ever notice why there's not even ants in a lot of sand? Sometimes it's a rarity. But, you know, even ants have to be around something where there's more, the, the, the earth is more brown. Because that's where the nutrients are. 
Are we, am, am, am I speaking over your head today? <laughs> Is that you you, 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 you? you at least got out the first and second grade, right? Am I going whoo, over your head? Oh, it's the delusion of out. Is a peace dealer telling us to you? <laughs> With my delusional ass, is Dolo de Palomar telling us to you? Or any of these? This, this is not a knock on any of them because everybody's got to do what they got to do. But I'm saying just don't come up in my tea because, bitch, I will serve everybody. I don't have a problem. I have no loyalty to anybody but my crew. But this is one thing you're not going to do. You're going to try to steal from me and going to take my content and say it's all about you. Bitch, not today. Not today, Jose. Not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. Da, 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 da. Anyway, but anyway, so again, earth, if anything is growing, it's fruitful and nourishing, it's coming out of the dark ground. If we are children of the earth, and you say that yourself, so how the fuck you think the children of the earth started out as white? It's very arrogant and ignorant to think that white people invented everything, including the world. Before there was white, there was black. White is not a dominant color. White, on a lot of levels, and a lot of the ancient cultures, signifies death. When your hair starts to gray, that means you have lesser years left. That's why everybody wants to dye their hair and hide the fact that they're aging. But here's the deal. When you're aging with wisdom, it's like you don't age. Look at me today. I look better than I did, really, five, ten years ago. That's odd or not. But my hair is gray. I felt no need to diet today. Now people are like, now people are starting to come out and wear their natural locks. Did Oprah do that? Did Jada do that? Did the Kardashians do that? Oh, well, now I guess if Kim goes gray, I decided to wear my gray hair to that bitch. Shut the fuck up. Y'all to mess with the wrong one. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> you can't Kanye me or voodoo me. Boo. Dude, I'm not the chick up in the barracks like, I guess I do some content now <laughs> so I can get some food. Please, sir. I, I must work for food. Let me get this content out on social media. Amazon and YouTube, y'all too. <laughs> you too. I'm not doing a Me Too today. I'm not a victim. Not today, Jose. But anyway, when I finished saying what I had to say, yeah, but just a looping, though. So my mom, my dad dies on a Sunday. My mom, I find my mom, you know, 10 years later on a Sunday. Sunday. So I don't know. Uh, and uh, just looping, just stories. And I cried at neither funeral. And you know how I am about my parents. So people are looking at me like either this is the strongest person we know or she is a little cuckoo. Maybe I'm both. Maybe I know what I had to do. Maybe uh, there's something in my DNA. Maybe when I go into struggles, I you have never said, I need to call on my prayer warriors today. I want my prayer warriors. To I actually heard somebody said, Something about, uh, uh, well, I would never call on my prayer war, but you did. I, rem I re see, I remember everything. I remember when you were dying or so you said in the hospital or something, and you actually did call on your prayer warriors. I need my prayer warriors to come, but yet you turned around just the other day and said, I don't do that. See, I listen to everything. Dementia ain't set in yet. That's what people say. How can she, how can she, how can she pay attention to everything? I'm like a computer that never gets erased. But you got to let go of some stuff, right? To let some stuff in. I'm just saying, if you really want a real lesson, I don't think you can handle me, my friend. If you want to diminish me, then you better go You you better go off to your kin. If you want to learn something, we can talk, but you're going to pay me my fee. You're going to pay me for my commercials. You're going to pay me for my voiceovers. You're going to pay me for everything. You're going to steal from me, and you're going to put up some little bobblehead hoe, some little bobblehead bitch or your bobblehead hoe bro boyfriend to. Oh, no, bitch. No, that's not what you're going to do. You're going to laugh in my face and try to Scientology me today. 
<laughs> Ain't fun when the wabbit got the gun. Wabbit, 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 Went from ribbit to rabbit. Ribbit to rabbit. Rabbit. Alice in Wonderland. Speaking of the rabbit, getting back to Endomorph. If you can find Metal Hurlant Chronicles, that remind to the creator, the no, not that creator, not the creator, to the movie of the creator. Simpsons did it. No, <laughs> no, it's like Endomorph, Metal 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 Hurlant Chronicles, Endomorph. I see some of Endomorph, like I said, Osaka, Ahsoka, Ahaka, whatever. Kylo Ren and Ray, been there, done that. What was the movie? I forgot. What's the movie now? Just like just with uh, 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 um, um, um. What's the movie where the all were blue? I don't forgot. You know that movie too. Westworld. Whatever happened to Westworld? Remember when somebody Marcus? Where are you at today, Marcus? And no Femi, no Femi. We don't do dry fish shit today. I'm calling out everybody, okay? I just made you famous in some kind of way. I had an epiphany that it would be me. Anyway. Anywho. How you doing, Ellen? Uh, <laughs> which Ellen would that be? Uh, I had a friend named Ellen, too, but not Ellen. Anyway. Shout out to the 82nd Airborne. You guys rock. Everybody rock. I mean, everybody. I was just like, yes, 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 yes. Is that coming on tonight? But uh, I don't want somebody to think that I'm in a narrative right now. But this song, I went to bed because how you go to bed and how you wake up is it means everything. Uh, and I went to bed with this song because when this song first came out, I just I just loved it because it's just the energy of it. And I saw a, a video of a homeless man who went in and they, they, they didn't know that uh, he was homeless. And he started playing on the piano and he sung the hell out of that song. And I know if my neighbors heard them, maybe if they record and stuff, maybe they record that or maybe they didn't. So I'm up here singing this song at like about 1 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that, the harmonies and everything. And I'm going to play this. Now I'm sure... They're going to like, you know, because, you know, everybody, Maldives and Russia owns all our music. But for whoever needs to hear this, because I am not a religious chick, but I, I believe in love. And you all need to know, stop beating people over the head with the Bible here. That's why I say you bring the Jehovah Witnesses around me. <laughs> there's going to be at least one of them. If there's two of them, one of them's going to turn by the time I'm through. Don't bring your gay boyfriend around me because I'll turn him too. <laughs> it's the one I told you. KKK walking in the field, real girl comes up, hey boys, they're like, oh, she ain't scared, not scared of what? How you doing? You out here just doing you, I am, how you doing? And they're looking like, she cool, I am cool, I told you. You might be all white supremacists like a motherfucker, but when you come around me, it's something about my energy that I saw the eyes like, some I saw one like I like her. I bet you do. See, I'm friends with anybody who's a real friend to me. Even the devil <laughs> falls in love with me. What does that say about me? I don't know. But let me tell you something. On the other side of that, that's a side you don't want to see. That's why clearly my parents watch over me. Because, uh, yeah, classified near 53. Uh, but this is, uh, somebody needs to hear this today. Because you get it in places where there is no love. They speak Jesus, but they're all thugs and hoes. Some of the worst people, the worst, the worst, the worst so if you're those type of people today, I would advise you to stay far, far away. You better keep that bitch off my dick, gender not specific. You better keep that hoe in her place and keep your dog on your leash. Because today the teacher's going to teach that the real spirit is about love. By the way, 
before Lionel Richie, there were the Commodores. Remember when music was real music? I do. This is keeping my emotions down today. Father, help your children. Daddy's very angry. Love one another. I got it. Daddy's got it. And heaven might find a place. I just need to call back. Let Daddy have one. I got it. Cause Jesus is all. He won't let you down. I don't feel the love in you, then that means you're a bald face liar. Don't say the name if you don't feel the spirit, bitch. Hell, Lilith. We've got to walk on. It's different when you mean it. It's different when you mean that shit. You want a testimony? Well, this is it. I guess Wincy's doing her trial sermon today, right? I know the truth. I do know the truth. And, his word and I know the lie too. Will be our salvation. But not that word, not the King James Version. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. But can you feel it? Can you feel it? What do you feel today? What do you feel? What do you feel? Moon is a Pisces. What do you feel? Because what you feel right now, what you feel right now, is going down in your world. That's real. Jesus, These people tried to make me kill myself. I bet you I'll kill you. No. Fall back. My daddy will kill you before I do that. I can't kill me. So that means you can't crucify me. That's already been done. Forever. In my heart. me today because you are going to be gone instantly. Don't try me on this day. Baby girl, way too powerful. This motherfucker got slayed instantly. My daddy don't play about me, bitch. My mama don't play either. Somebody needs to hear this right now. This is therapy for me. I'm sharing my therapy for free. But you pay these bitches to do nothing. Go with that then. Jesus is love. the trick and go with that. Not the same thing. Daddy. Mommy. Me.
It's not the label. It's the energy. It's the energy. Prophet spoke love. You have these gurus who are speaking lies. They're not gurus and they're not preachers. They're prophets for profit. You say I'm the crazy one, okay? Black Wednesday is gone astray. Oh, it's Moon and Pisces. She's delusional. But you preach hate and scamming and shit. I have been through so much. So you think I'm going to be taken out by a trick? Bitch, you better be glad. That my mom and my dad loves me. Because it would be a sad thing if I turn on everybody. And that's therapy for my soldiers, okay? Because you don't know what they go through. They go through hell every day. And you have the nerve to get, I bet the shit that you say on social media, you won't get up in their face. Like they won't get up in my face. You hide behind keyboards and you hide behind shit. You want to call me the witch, but you won't speak to me in person, will you, trick? Where are these rappers at today? You want to send these little capping ass motherfuckers to come and take me out to rise up the injury? Oh, I feel some kind of way because she hurt my ego today. Fuck your ego, bitch. You the one that's got the money and you stealing from me? Who the fuck you think you messing with? The nerve. It's the, it's the audacity. It's the audacity. So today... Venus is in tough love mood, okay? We gonna hear this again. But I want and this and this by the way, Heroes is the eighth studio album by the Commodores, released June nineteen eighty by Motown Records. Didn't Gil Scott Heron said they almost called they almost killed Detroit? Buying up there now with the auto workers. There's so much history with my mom. I mean, everything is just coming through. I mean, all of it, all of it, all of it. You can handle this. Y'all can handle this shit. Y'all can. I'm not even. I'm not even sure how I'm handling this shit. Actually, in reality, I'm like I'm tripping on myself. But uh, we are gonna play this one more time, and then we're gonna let it go. Cause we, as we say, we're gonna back it up and let it go. But I want you to take the name. Out. I want you to take the name Jesus out. It's in the song, but I want you to replace. In your mind, the word love. Every time he says Jesus, because we all know that there are no J's. In Aramaic language, there are no J's. There are no J's. So I want the Italians, <laughs> I want you Italians to speak love. I want the mafia, the CIA, the FBI, whoever it be. I want you, you know, Hillsong boys, you Scientology. I want you, whoever you believe in, aliens or whatever it be. I want you 1918 boys too. Like, you know what? Don't roll up on me, bitch. I don't give no fucks about anybody, about your color or whatever. Because at the end of the day, none of you will be nothing without me. I said what I had to say. Remind you, the earth grows stuff, not sand. Does nothing grow in sand but dirt. You want to turn, you want to make everything white again? You want to make everything white again? You want to make everything sandy again? We can do that. We can bomb the whole motherfucking earth and there'll be nothing but the deep dark earth underground. Maybe some people are underground. Are you building shelters underground? I'm just saying, now's the time. You start hearing that sound. By the time you hear it, y'all need to go back on some of those videos, those old World War One and World War Two videos. See, these new hoes, these new, these new, these, these, these new generations generational Gen Z and millennial people who've been raised up on TV and video shows and all these stupid cap ass rap rap rappers or whatever fuck that shit is. Oh wow. I gotta wait. Balance it out. 
we got to go. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to, okay, 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 okay. No, I'm not going to do that because that would be so disrespectful, but it would be funny too. But I got to do it though. I got to do it though. I got to do, okay, stay on court. See this? Where you got, you got to stay on the point. But there's a video uh, 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 that I'm going to play it after this. That uh, gold all in my you know, not not Trinidad James. It was it was it actually this video did better than Trinidad James. It was like you know, pizza pizza pizza. <laughs> I mean, it was, wait wait wait. It's in my head now, so I gotta like wait wait. I gotta do it. I'm gonna go back there. Well, you know what? You can listen to that movie. You can listen to that song again and just think of the word love because we done already had the service. I need some laughter now. We didn't got the I didn't got the kumbaya shit out the way. I got to get the laughter, okay? Because now I gotta like you know go go and uh because i got to go and deal with my some money stuff uh but uh uh so i want to be in a and a no no none of that 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 where's that where's that where's that there all rose everything this is funny as shit i got i got to do this for a minute you gotta balance it out. You gotta balance out everything. Humor is healing. Humor is healing. You gotta see it's all rose everything. Yeah. Trinidad James, all go everything parody by Poppin' Media. Yeah. Yeah. I know people like this. I can roll with people like this. I do roll with people like this. Look at my lips. Those shots can't help you. But do what you do. Just still coming after you. Rolls all in my neck. Rolls all in my chest. Rolls all in my back. Bloody me cause I'm fat. Pizza, 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 bloody me cause I'm fat. Love to eat cause I'm fat Chicken, chicken, chicken Love to eat cause I'm fat Love to eat cause I'm fat This ain't for no skinny niggas You a big nigga and fuck with me This one for my husky niggas Big and tall, we shopping nigga. Dark meat, white meat Soul food and Chinese Sandwiches we know about Let me tag in the meatballs I'm about to make bones My nigga, nigga. I love some gravy on it, hot sauce, my nigga. nigga. Shit tastes good when you put it on it, eat your ribs, my you nigga. Those cookouts? Then please I pass did. that shit to me. This is all for the niggas. That way I about you three fish in it, motherfuckers. Burger buns, burger meat Woo. with lots of cheese all on it. Cheesy. I don't fuck with no veggies, so don't pass me no lettuce. This, this video is so hilarious. So hilarious. You need a laugh today. Posting pics on Instagram straight eating. Exercise, not sweat. Woo! Exercise, not sweat. Woo! We gotta fuck you something after me. Boy, eat some chicken. Yeah, mama, I'm grounded. Ball box, that's us. Woo. We stay eating them fresh. Where's Trinidad James at today? That's Jane, and he went away. Six big. Some onion ring, ten chicken wings. It's not what the fuck my fries. I tried to go on a diet, but fuck that. I'm not hungry. Not with with and man. this song for them fat niggas with the shirt soft yeah, this summer. Got breasts behind yeah, your back, back, but yeah. still go. Oh, look, I hear some cat. Rolls all in my neck. Rolls all in my chest. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Marshall Healthcare Solution. How are you doing today? This is who from where? This is Marshall Healthcare Solution. How are you doing today? What are you calling for? I'm calling you to let you know that you have been qualified to get extra additional benefits on your Medicare. So I believe you do have Medicare Part A and B white men. Why do I hear a whole bunch of people in the background? Are you calling up a whole bunch of people about Medicare or Medicaid? Disa? Hello, Disa? Disa? These nuts? Disa? <laughs> what happened? They went away. Where's Disa today? 
Well, let's call back Disa. You saw the calls. Okay. Where the number at? See, I'm on that time. Y'all, y'all be like, y'all are stupid. <laughs> Nine one oh five seven oh You just called. Now you won't pick up. Why? Why? Please record your message after the tone. When finished, hang up or press the pound key for... Nah. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today. I'm going. I'm. I'm done. I just said all I had to say. Well, you know what? No. Yeah. Let me end with my song. Shut
be delusional, okay? But they're gonna do that.